Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mazville USA here. And today you're looking at my full CCI set, original Xbox, running on Serbios. Or CCI. CCI is Serbios compressed image. Compressed ISOs. Uh, something that um, a certain hundred dollar product advertises itself to support but it does not uh, Sir BIOS does it for free and today I'm going to be showing you start to finish how you can set up your Xbox to do what you see here a whole bunch of whole bunch of goodies I want to try to make it as simple as possible and an update from uh, my previous Sir BIOS guide because quite a bit has uh, happened a lot of evolution here since then and I'm going to be walking you through how to set this up so um, come along for the ride if you'd like and uh, yeah let's get into it <laughs> Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here inside of a 1.0 original Xbox. And now this is going to be primarily software setup guide for Serbios. Here in 2023, we're going to be setting up CCI, the compress ISO format. And, um, you know, going through the motions of getting everything set up start to finish. Um, hopefully that'll be of help, but... We need to talk about hardware a little bit. Um, so this is a 1.0. I'm using a uh, one of these X Blast ships, handmade. I have these for sale on the site down below, along with one of these if you want to protect your South Bridge. Just a little heat sink for you there. Um, these are two bucks. They're cheap. Mod chips, thirty bucks. And I recommend either X Blast. Or Xenium, you can do the open Xenium, or you can do the original Xenium. You can do these new Xenium Black Ices, which are a replica of the original Nemesis over on eBay and OG Xbox forums. He's got uh, his own um, his own PCBs that are faithful to the original as well. Whatever you want. I just recommend using a mod chip with its own uh, operating system. Uh, X3, uh, SmartXX, stuff like that. That's all. That's all great. Whatever it is you want to use, but something with X Blast or something with Xenium OS is very nice to have, um, especially for something like Serbios, where um, there's updates fairly regular. It's just in development, so. Flat, you're going to want to flash the new BIOS here and there, and having an oper operating system like this makes it much easier to do. Both of these flash very quickly over a network. If you flash the wrong BIOS, um, that is a pain to deal with if you are using uh, TSOP. If you're going straight to TSOP, if you flash the wrong thing, you're going to have a bad time, and recovering is going to be a real pain in the ass. Having a mod chip with an operating system is no big deal because you boot to X Blast before you boot to the BIOS, so it's uh, really easy to fix a bad flash um, or flashing an incompatible BIOS. Um, so yeah, that's why I like these. Highly recommend uh, mod chip on every Xbox, not just 1.6, as long as it, as long as you've got the. Um, as long as it's got an operating system like X Blast or Xenium OS, more exotic stuff, X3, um, all that shit's great too. But we'll just be going through the motions on X Blast, and Xenium is almost identical. So uh, yeah, there's that. On top of the, um, on top of that, what else you're gonna need? Uh, mandatory if you're upgrading the hard drive 80 wire IDE you're gonna want to upgrade the hard drive Serbio supports up to up to 16 terabytes confirmed I think it's essentially however big you want to go um, you can you can do that with Serbios which is one of its strong features there 
Gotta have the 80 wire IDE cable though. Have everything linked below. You also need an IDE to SATA adapter. Uh, there are these. These are the cheapo AliExpress ones. I'll have these linked. Um, these support up to UDMA4. So if you're using one of these, you need to choose the UDMA4 uh, version of Surbios. If you choose UDMA5, you're going to run into the freezing issues on the boot up. Uh, you've got bad joints on these when you get them from the factory. Uh, if you look at these through hole joints, they all look really bad. No matter what, these always look really shitty from the factory. So before you ever start it up, hook it up, boot it up, whatever, reflow all of the through hole joints or you're gonna have a bad time. Um, these have the reputation of like only 50% of them working. If you reflow all the joints beforehand, uh, you are going to, your success rate is going to be, instead of like 40, 50%, it's going to be like 95 with them just working. So it just takes a minute, re touch up the joints, then hook it up. Um, so yeah, there's that, there's, there's this, there's that, and then obviously a hard drive. So we've got this 4 terabyte right here, which we are going to be working with making a CCI set and um, yeah we can go all the way up to 16 terabytes or beyond if we wanted to four is a very nice spot if you're going to be using um, if you want the full original Xbox library in CCI format and emulators four terabytes will get you done and you'll have some room left over um, I think this is a sweet spot choose what you want if you only care about OG Xbox games um, you can get away with two terabytes doing full CCI set because I believe it's 1.8 total uh, so yeah no compromises you can have the full US set with region exclusives on the two terabyte if you go CCI format four terabytes I like that wiggle room totally up to you uh, okay and lastly you're gonna want one of these it's a little grimy I know this thing has seen some shit um, this is a HDD dock here, so this will um, uh, connect your hard drive, goes out USB, it's powered externally, and you can do two. You can uh, put in two hard drives, you got a button here, you can clone a hard drive if you wanted to, but what we're really interested in is just connecting our hard drive to our PC conveniently. We're going to be using Fat Explorer to transfer files much quicker than over FTP. Real quick on differences between an X-Blast mod chip, chip and a, an Xenium one. They're pretty equal, but there's, uh, in my opinion, there's two things uh, that, there's a one really big strength of an X-Blast mod chip, and there's a one really big strength of the Xenium. The X-Blast, um, you can install RAM chips one at a time, and they will still boot. X-Blast has a built-in RAM test ability. Fantastic. Um, if you're going to, these are, always have one of these around if you do RAM upgrades, because it makes troubleshooting those much easier. On anything else, you need to install all four chips perfectly. Otherwise, your system will not boot up properly. With these, you can do them one at a time. Uh, I love that. Um, the only downside, really, is one, aesthetically, X Blast is pretty bare bones, but two, uh, the big one being FTP. So if you have an X Blast chip, you can't FTP over um, while in X Blast. So there's really no way to set up your hard drive from nothing using one of these. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Unless if you do the old-fashioned, you know, hex and disk bullshit, but uh, you know, we don't want to do that. So Xenium does have a built-in FTP server. So if you don't have the, if you don't have one of these bad boys, you can set up everything from nothing on the hard drive uh, using this. But not really, I mean, you're still going to need to format it for SirBIOS anyway, but if you're doing a smaller hard drive, a more legacy formatted one, if you will, 
you can do it all with this guy and transfer and set up your CNE over FTP. So that is nice. It's nice to have the ability to FTP stuff over. And I have keep these on hand for if I want to back up an original Xbox hard drive. Speaking of which, just a quick little PSA. Um, Buddy Harcroft has been working very hard um, to archive all of the original Xbox DLC and title updates. New application, Pinecone, for helping to um, go through the database of what's found and what's not. So if you're into Xbox modding, uh, keep these like when you're setting up your console like if you don't want to deal with it um, set up your console X-Blast, Xenium, whatever first thing you do unlock the hard drive and keep it aside and hit hit me up, hit Harcroft up, send it send it on over and we can dump it what I've been doing is with everyone I mod I unlock them I let them stack up a little bit and then I'll come in with my Xenium I'll boot it up, um, just go through the hard drives and back up the contents of the E drive to individual folders and then I'll send that over and they can see if there's anything special on there. So there's an effort to document and compile all the missing title updates and DLC. There's, there's a good bit. Uh, there's a lot more in Japan, I believe, and probably PAL regions. That need documenting. So unlock these hard drives, pop in an Xenium, and transfer over the contents and save them up and get in touch with me or get in touch with Harcraft. I'll uh, leave his contact down below. Um, yeah, don't just don't just throw these bad boys away. Like back up the E drive uh, to individual folders. I'll show you my setup real. Quick. So here's how I do it. Um, just for each drive, I'll create like a new number. Like one, we got C and E, but you only want E really. So starting with two here. So yeah, this is the contents of E. I just FTP this over, and it's got to be like individual folders per hard drive. So you don't, you're not just merging a bunch of E drives into one for each uh, each console. You just drag the drag over the E drive to to its own folder, back it up, and at some point zip it up and send it on over and uh, you know that that'll uh, be very helpful for archiving all the lost title updates and DLC so if you're into Xbox modding please do your part if you need me to make a dedicated video on on what to do let me know but it's pretty simple just um, FTP it over and don't forget to unlock it if you're not gonna do it right away because the hard drive is tied to the console so if it's locked um, if you don't get a chance to unlock it then uh, it's gonna be a pain but some people know how to handle that um, so join the Xbox scene discord if you've got a bunch of locked hard drives you can probably send them off and somebody can help you out with that so uh, that's about it only other thing I want to really go over hardware wise is um, a little 3d printed mounts here well all right so I'm going to have um, an OG Xbox forum thread linked below for all the 3d printed mount stuff for original Xbox and there is a ton but I'm just gonna go over quickly the three that I use the most uh, first one being this is for the SATA adapters that I use. So green ones, UDMA4, the uh, StarTex can handle UDMA5 and 6. I really like these though. Um, throw a picture up of what it looks like once it's actually secured. This insulates the SATA adapter from shorting out on the hard drive. This locks it into place. It's never going to come loose. You can ship them, you know, chuck your Xbox across the room. Hard drive is going to still be plugged in. These are fantastic. There is a mount for the StarTech one, but it's way less effective. It just kind of insulates it. It's just it's more of a case than a mount. Um, 
that's that's my main issue with the StarTech is the the price and just the way that they mount isn't uh, way less um, aesthetically pleasing and like you know practically um, you know it'll come loose even with the mount like it, it's not as not as secure as the green ones that's why I like those more personally you know StarTech is technically better this is uh, another great one to have these are the replacements for these fans which get really fucking loud um, if you have a 1.0 replacing this with the Noctua fan is a great choice uh, these are all open source and um, available so all you need is the Noctua fan you're good to go um, and another great one is the DVD bezel mount here. They printed these up. Um, just come in two pieces. The DVD delete ones are a bit better, but those are closed source, unfortunately. So uh, these are these are the ones that's uh, that are available. And the DVD bezel snaps into the front here. This guy just mounts, so it looks like. It looks like you've uh, got the DVD drive in there even when you don't. And again, in case I didn't mention it, SirBIOS will work without the D DVD drive natively. Um, no bullshit like with M8 or Stellar where it like, kind of works, but it's a bit wonky. Like it full-blown, you don't need a DVD drive and it'll work like, like you have one without issues. So... Another great fe feature of Serbios. Uh, well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I've ranted long enough about the internals of the Xbox. Um, we're going to hook this four terabyte up to the computer, grab the latest Fat Explorer beta, and uh, format the drive and take it from there. I'm going to show you how to set this up from scratch. Then we'll flash uh, Serbios to the mod chip and um, get up and running. So let's do it. Well, all right, here we are in. Fat Explorer beta. Link down below to download it. And we're gonna come in here. We've got our hard drive plugged in using our HDD dock. And we've got the formatting tools, original Xbox HDD. Ba ba ba. And this is mine here, the 3.64. It's a four terabyte drive, and it's already formatted for the original Xbox. I'm not going to be formatting it here today, but I will take you through the motions. So we go to next. We are going to choose Serbios. Boom. Next. Okay, and here's where it gets important. Um, I don't know why it's still defaulting to the F and G, but it is. So what we do, we come to G untick format boom I want to do everything on F so once we untick format for that one we come over here to F and we double click it and we click max save so for the cluster size here so this is uh, this is what we want to follow so for the if the partition is one to two terabytes we use the 128 kilobyte cluster size if it's two to four terabytes, we use the 256 kilobyte cluster size. Four to eight, we go 512. Eight to 16, uh, we do 1024. So we are two to four. So that would be a 256 kilobyte cluster size. So the partition here, after clicking max, we are 3.63. Uh, terabyte for this partition so we would bump this to 256 so reference the previous image if you're going over four terabytes um, or under choose the cluster size that is that corresponds with the size you see here 3.63 terabytes for me so 256 all right and make sure nothing after F exists we just want the E C F 
Let's go next. And we could set this up now, but we're not going to do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Editingville here. And I just want to show you how to do this because um, it is probably the most convenient way to do it. So we've got uh, data partition E. So we would click browse for zip. And then Xbox E. So we'll choose the E folder we downloaded from Hasnos. Um, and then you go to the drop down, choose C, browse for zip, and then choose the C that we downloaded from Hasnos or that we will download coming up. But um, yeah, that's how you do this. And then you would just carry on, go next, and your hard drive would be totally set up. Just keep in mind if you're going to be following along and using the Serbios tool to customize uh, your BIOS, you do want to mount your C drive later and delete the SirBIOS INI. Otherwise, that will take priority. You'll see coming up. Um, but yeah, just throwing this in here. That's how you do that. There's a drop down. You can just plug in the zips. And your hard drive gets set up when it gets formatted. Go next. And here's where we format it. Now, mine's already formatted, so I'm not going to do that, but yours is fresh. So go ahead and do it. So now we've got a formatted drive. And what we want to do is we come on over here and it has an OC and E drive. And what we do is we grab Xbox C and E from this mega link here. We got the C backup with boot animations, Xbox E, Xbox E. So we're going to, we'll do download the C backup. And we're going to go ahead and grab, download the E backup that has apps preloaded to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have downloaded the E and C drive backups. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna come on in, load device. All right, and let's start with the C drive here. Bada bing. So here's what I already have on my C drive. And we're gonna open up the C zip file we downloaded. Okay, here it is. And what we're gonna do is drag these guys over. And we're going to go ahead and replace everything because I already have a C drive built here. Now, there is a um, new tool that we're going to be playing with where we, um, it's similar to EV tool for M8, where we modify the BIOS. So essentially, we have two options here. We can configure everything in this SirBIOS INI here um, for the no DVD. Um, drive setup one, so one equals HDD and no DVD. Uh, zero, it's HDD and DVD, so standard. A um, lot of options here, but what we're going to do is delete this because we're going to be using the tool to modify the BIOS to our liking. Uh, we've got some boot animations here. We got the Nyan Cat, the modern etc so we're going to be playing with that in a bit so we've deleted the SirBIOS INI um, dragged everything over deleted the SirBIOS INI we're good there so now let's go to devices unmount load it up again we'll load the E drive this time Okay, and we're going to open up the E drive zip we grabbed. Alrighty. And we're just going to go ahead and drag this over. We'll replace whatever needs replacing. Okay, now what we're going to do is use Pandora. 
but from Team Resurgent, link down below. This is all Equinox. Consider kicking them some uh, some bucks on Patreon down here. So those dudes do a lot of really good work. So we'll click connect, and we're in. So what this is is it's just a modern um, X bins, no BS with IRC software or auto X bins, which will get flagged by your antivirus. Uh, it just works. It's much cleaner, um, better, and modern. So use Pandora for sure. We're just going to go ahead, come on over to Xbox, console based applications, BIOS, Sir BIOS, and the latest one will be in here. If you, if you want to dabble with um, some uh, different boot up animations, you got all sorts of rad shit in here. You got the Dream, you can do the Dreamcast one, uh, PS1, PS2, Sega Saturn weird ass custom ones that people have made um, all sorts of wild shit okay I'm going to grab this right click download cool we got him okay so now we are going to uh, be dabbling here with the Serbios tool so we're gonna need to come in here, load BIOS. So 2.3.1 beta is the most recent one. I'm just gonna go ahead. This is already extracted, so extracted. If you haven't already, we're gonna do this one here. All right, so let us see. So we can tweak a lot of stuff here. So we got a lot of little Sir BIOS themes. Oh, I like that one. I'm gonna keep mine with the Yeti here. So some of the some of the features we want to mess with here. So I'm sticking with no DVD, maybe modern mode, and you can do dual hard drives with this setup if that's something you want to do. Uh, not something I've dabbled with. I don't need more than four terabytes, but. Um, yeah this one is where um, these are important here so UDMA4 is what I'm going to choose because we're using the green ones if you have the StarTech you can go up to UDMA5 or even 6 which is still experimental uh, but you can dabble with UDMA6 if you'd like to uh, fan speed auto yes debug no well all right ladies and gentlemen uh, I just want to add a couple things here um, for the Sir BIOS tool uh, one so this top option here load config from hard drive so if this is on by default if you leave this on and you set up your Sir BIOS INI on the root of your C drive that will override your settings here um, with what's baked into the BIOS file. Um, so it's nice. It's a nice option to have. We keep this on and uh, so if we want to keep this on, if we ever want to tweak stuff without having to retweak and reflash the BIOS so we can just set up the INI and it'll override all this stuff so I like that uh, secondly we're gonna want to set the dashboard path in here um, you can set it to whatever you want but in this video we're going over um, we're doing this for XBMC for gamers I think that's the best choice so we go E colon slash xbmc for gamers slash default dot xbe for dash path one and uh yeah and then everything else choose what you want to choose udma4 that's what we're doing here you can go up to six if you've got the star tech um and th that is experimental so be warned there and yeah let's carry on Okay, and we are going to go to save BIOS. 
we're going to do this. I'm going to name it UDMA for edited. Cool. And why not? We're going to export SirBIOS INI. We'll do it here. Very good. Now, if you want to get all bananas and do like an X3 kind of boot animation setup uh, for the original boot animation, you come in C, boot an anims, xbox, boot anim .ini, and tweak the colors. Go to some sort of um, hex editor. Um, just to find you know the the hex codes for the various colors and play around um so i've got mine that i, I spent a few couple hours initially when i set up sir bios and uh, i just copy pasted if you want to take a look zoom in here here it is um this is the one i use i'll leave a link below maybe a paste bin of my config but yeah, I like I like the way mine is, um, so I have that backed up. I just drag that back over. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I am just going to go ahead and reflow this bad boy real quick. Just to show you what the process is like, it's pretty straightforward. So it's all these shitty, um, these shitty joints here. And I've got my blade tip on already. That is nice. Got my iron dialed way up to um, 180 or 3, 381C. Fat tip. High wattage iron, a lot of heat, it really helps. These these fuckers suck up a lot of heat. And I don't know what the deal is with these awful, awful joints from the factory. But that is the cause of most people's issues, um, f is what I've found from, from my experience with it. Now your joints might look a little weird because there's for sure some solder mixing going on here. Um, they might st still not be perfect, but you can get them a lot better. Let's introduce new solder. Some of them still take a while too. Like this thing, this PCB absorbs a lot of fucking heat. Okay. We're 
on the back side here. Now for whatever reason they do not even solder these anchors in by default. Don't care for that. All right, so that's it. Surface mount stuff on these is fine. It's just the through hole on the SATA connector and the, the IDE and the power. Take the soft bristle brush, some 99 IPA. Give it a scrub. And again, I'm going to hit it with some more IPA because it's still a bit sticky from the flux. But I've got these nice cloth pads here. Help soak all that up. And one more dab on this side. over use the brush to help it soak up the old flux and we good big ups to today's sponsor PCB way if you're in the market to get some PCBs manufactured 3d print work done or CNC machining PCB Way has you covered. My personal favorite is the Retro Stuff section under Shared Projects. If you find a project you like, you can order one directly from the page with the choice of having it assembled as well. The creators of these projects even get a cut from your purchase. Click the link in the description if this interests you. Now, let's get back to the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get into the cream of the crop here. Um, making our uh, game set now this is going to be the cci format which is um sir bios compressed image or compressed x iso essentially so what you're going to need for a base for these is the redump iso those are about eight uh eight gigs a piece it's like static size for each that's the full disc and we're gonna be choosing compress trim scrub um, might want to split it but shouldn't need to split it 
uh, traverse input subdirectories that one's optional um, yeah and you know split it like you probably don't want to take this because um, you know four gig max size maybe you would only want this for um, if you're using this for an emulator on your PC but I have one uh, redump ISO here so let me find that okay redump ISOs that's my folder I have one in there and then output for the output I've created a CCI folder I'm gonna go open and I'm just gonna go ahead and process now it's just zipped up so you don't need to extract your redump ISOs just use the zip and you're good so let's do it right now so it's one game we've got Tony Hawk underground USA dot zip redump ISO would not play on its own if you tried to play it on an Xbox it needs to be converted to either XISO extracted the traditional route that Xbox games always were extracted ISO those are only good if you want to mod your game like it's so many files and transferring the entire library of extracted uh, in the extracted format it's millions of files it takes days whereas CCI you can transfer all two terabytes in what like an hour or two so uh, this is what you want much cleaner format smaller size and everything's kept intact you don't run into issues with too long file names it's just better uh, choose like CCI and then if you want to go um, if you want to go hardcore then don't choose the compressed option you could make just straight up um, like the scrubbed uh, scrubbed and trimmed XISO I believe those are like that full set is like 3.5 gigabytes CCI is under 2 terabytes so it's up to you um, if you want to go trimmed and scrubbed XISO or um, CCI but yeah CCI is pretty badass I recommend it if you've got a ton of storage might as well just um, go raw XISO alright CCI file has been created now we are going to mount our F drive here okay F drive boom and mine's already set up so as you can see we got I've got myself an emulator folder games folder homebrew folder these are the formats you're gonna want to use for setting it up for XBMC for gamers okay so right here this is the output directory f from uh, repackinator so this will be the CCI file so we've got a folder and within that folder we've got the default XBE default TBN and then the game here Tony Hawk's underground USA through Japan dot CCI um, so this is 3.2 gigabytes gonna be one of the ones on the higher end and you would take these CCI's put them in this games folder that's it easy peasy now eventually I'm sure there will be a torrent or something with the full CCI set don't believe anyone don't believe there's one floating around yet if you want to do that be my guess uh, be the guy whatever um, but for now you grab the redump you convert them to CCI and you bring them on over once you're converted to CCI you can delete your redumps and I gotta see there's only a few games that don't work and need to be HDD ready let me see if I can find that 
Okay, so let's go over the CCI compatibility list and big ups to Dempsey86 for slogging through the mud here. He really took one for the team and tested everything. Um, it's it's insane how much work went into this, but we've got this nice spreadsheet here. And let's go over it. So yellow is it works as a CCI. However, trim scrub ISO is recommended for better performance. So it'll work. It's working, but um, better off doing the uh, trim scrub version. It's going to take them a bit more size, but you know, better performance. So just go with that. Um, blue only works as the HDD rip. So that is the traditional. Um, like extracted ISO format. We've got a couple of games that you're going to want to grab in that format um, if you want to play those games. And then green currently only works as trim scrub ISO. So for yellow and green, go through go through this list, compile all these games for yellow and green, and then in repackinator. The yellow and green ones instead of making them CCI like we did before untick compress so that is the trim scrub XISO method um, the blue for the blues you want to go ahead and grab the HDD ready pack version of those games uh, so yeah yellow and green trimmed ISO and um, blue HDD ready pack and there you go you have a mostly full CCI set um, with some exceptions and very few blues very very few blues um, the rest going with the standard tr uh, trimmed and scrubbed ISO all right that's uh that's about it. This is all linked below. So go ahead and use this when making your build. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, got the hard drive hooked up to the Xbox. Just to show you what's going on here, we got that 3D printed mount here for the bezel. Uh, now this top part is a bit loose, so if you've got one of these when you're closing it all up, you might want to, you know hot glue the top of this some form of adhesive maybe double-sided tape keep this locked in as one piece um, up to you otherwise you know it's just kind of it's just a bit loose um, even with the top shell on and 3d printed mount here as you can see so this piece goes between the IDE adapter IDE to SATA adapter and the hard drive uh, so it doesn't short out and then you got this little circle here slides right in and look at this that's a lot of force this thing isn't going anywhere this this is why I like these even though it's technically inferior to the um, to the StarTech um, just reflow these first and if you're, you know, if these are, if this is going in the mail or something, or, you know, your Xbox is moving around, whatever, like once it's locked in, confirmed working, uh, this is never coming loose. Not the StarTech. The StarTech fits in much jankier. I really don't like the form factor of it. Um, but otherwise, it's superior in every way to these. It just doesn't lock in like this. And it doesn't, um, you know, I don't like the design of it. It's strange. Uh, it's impractical. And then if you're going no DVD drive, um, you know, any old, even like those short yellow IDE, 80 wire IDE ones. So totally fine. This fits in like this. I like to usually when I'm all said and done, if I'm keeping no disk drive, I'll zip tie um, this cable right here just so it's not free floating around and you just cut it if you want to put a DVD drive back in it and uh, yeah that's what's going on inside the box we're gonna boot it up I'm gonna hook it up to Ethernet hook it up to my retro tink over component 
I'm gonna flash that Serbios file, and we are uh, gonna boot it up. Okay, got the console booted here. Uh, we are gonna go into settings, flash menu, and we'll flash the 256 over the network. And there's my IP address. Now we're gonna come on over in Firefox. Um, Chrome, I've ha always had issues doing Xbox network shit in Chrome or Brave or whatever, so Firefox, maybe Edge is fine, uh, but Firefox is what I use for this. And we're gonna browse for the BIOS file we edited. And I'm going to name it Serb UDMA4. Edit. Why not? Upload and flash. And if we go back to the Elgato, it's already doing its thing. And just like that. Now, here's the one we tweaked. And if you want to have another version of Serbios with different settings, maybe toggle debug, um, you know, you've got one with UDMA6 to tinker with, uh, whatever it is, uh, you can go back in that Serbios tool and uh, tweak it. But we're going to load up the UDMA4, see what happens here. All right, so my capture card trips out. You didn't get to see the Serbios logo, uh, but it's on my TV, no problem. And here we are, an XBMC for gamers, and we are going to need to make a profile. Do add a profile. M O D Z done. We're gonna load it. Actually, you know what? Profile picture browse. Where do I have this damn thing? There you are. Bada bing. Okay. Load profile. All right, and the first time, if you've added a lot of games, the first time you load up XBMC for gamers, it's going to, it's going to have a lot of shit to load. But there's an option that's off by default that we are going to be turning on to make your life much, much easier. Okay, so settings, I believe. Go over skin settings. So, auto login. I like to disable the login screen so we auto login. Yes, please. Scripts. Ba ba. So we can do themes. Yeah, enable night mode. Why not? Thank you, much better. Okay, so I hit white button, then settings. Here it is. Okay, yeah, so white. And then we go enable fast game parsing, yes. Enable video mode switching, yeah, do that. And back. And there we go. It doesn't scan every time. Now from here, we're going to hit up. And I always get lost here and have to dick around, but let's see. Let's do it like that. 
No. Need this one here, yeah. There we go. That's the one I like. Cool. And then background. E. Got this nice retro wave background in 720. Very cool. All right. And you're not going to have artwork like this initially. So you come on in here. Um, downloader. That's what you want. There is a bunch of shit baked into XBMC for gamers. So every once in a while, you're going to have to re grab this URL downloader. Cool. So artwork installer. Oh, wild. So we've got a bunch here now. Video previews. Oh, wild, dude. Okay, so Rocky's added a bunch of new shit here. Um, so let's grab the latest one here. Artwork installer. I'm going to have to check those previews out on my own time because that is, that is all new to me. All right. So that installed. Let's go back and uh, go back to the downloader just so you can see a bit more of what's in here. So you've got the uh, you've got various dashboards. We already have those from the CNE files, but you can grab any dashboard you want there. Bunch of applications. You got your DLC for all your Xbox games there. You got your emulators. You got some homebrew, some mods. You got some themes here. Look at that. I think this is new. Uh, pretty rad. I like that OG Xbox one. That's pretty cool. You got the Team Resurgent one. Updates. Uh, you can update it your XBMC for gamers right here within the app itself we'll put, go back and to get to our apps we just hit back again and here we are so we got applications demos emulators games homebrew I'm going to go to applications. And our artwork installer is right here. We'll do yes. Would you like to install any video previews that are found? Uh, yes. You want to a skip existing artwork? No. We're just going to go ahead and let this finish. Okay, artwork installed. We're going to hit OK. We'll get the credits. Cameron, Cyan, and James. Rocky Five doing everything else. The man, the myth. All right, start to exit. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, finished build here. Nice and snappy. And this isn't even, um, it's just UDMA4, no 128 RAM mod, no CPU mods, nothing like that. This is is how I do I think that's plenty snappy beautiful 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 UI um, Rocky 5 makes crazy nice um, software for the original Xbox it's it's ridiculous how nice this shit is 
And uh, yeah, that's it. CCI set. We've got a couple variations there of games that uh, you should choose either the um, regular just scrubbed and trimmed XISO or the um, couple that were HDD ready pack. But otherwise, this is uh, this is pretty good. Let's boot up Sneak King, everybody's favorite game, and um, yeah, it's fucking awesome. So there's going to be some longer boot times on some of these games here, it's just how it goes, um, but for the most part, CCI is running pretty goddamn flawlessly. But anyways, that's about all for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.